What's happening, fellas? And welcome back to Mornstead once again. So we're gonna cover one of the uh, the older uh, achievements today, the without purpose achievement. So this one's um, uh, uh, based around the character Thek Ear. He usually hangs around all the main vestiges, but it's still easy to miss a thing or two. So here's just a quick rundown on how to finish this. Uh, once you complete this quest, you'll finish the achievement and acquire the Phil Pilgrim armor set. You encounter him for the first time right as you leave the Skyrest camp. So, oh, here's something interesting. With Seismic Slam, you can actually hit the enemies below from way up here. Okay, back to our quest. Uh, Thek Gear will appear again right when you march into Forsaken Den. And next, he'll appear again right after you vanquish the Hushed Saint by the vestige around the corner. So he goes back to the Skyrest camp at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when exactly this happens, but by the time you reach Vestige of Sebastian, just port back and he should already be waiting. Next, he'll be at the Vestige of Loesch. Uh, you'll need the 5 key if you haven't already picked it up from Andreas. If he's nowhere to be found at this point, uh, it should be on the floor here. Uh, right next to camp. You'll see him again next by the vestige of Deator. Now the whole dialogue is funny. Uh, it's just funny hearing this guy having so much faith in Aureus and Judge Cleric, thinking they're all righteous and all this killing is for noble cause. This time, you will find him next to the vestige of brother Jeremiah, and this would be actually the seventh time you have spoken to this guy. While I was on my way to uh, the next location, I actually found something that wasn't there before, or at least I hadn't noticed it. Um, has this always been here, guys? Or is it like a new weapon or something? Anyway, it's a dagger called Jeffrey's Dagger, and I swear to God, I have never seen this path here before. But, you know, you basically just uh, take this path down, go all the way down, and you'll reach this um, a cage. And at the base of the cage, um, there's the dagger. Now stay with me guys, we're almost there. Right, so by this cage is where you find the dagger, right here. And this is what Jeffrey's dagger looks like. And finally, we're at his final location. Uh, after this, he'll pretty much be inaccessible. He'll even give you a little heads up hinting that you should probably buy whatever you want from him before he gets out of dodge. All that's left to be done is get rid of Judge Cleric, pick up her chalice, then head back to the courtyard, cross the bridge, and pick up your rewards. What I really like about this set is that it takes in the color really well. It really highlights whatever tints you use. Uh, to play us out, I have showcased a few of my favorite colors for your viewing pleasure. And also, uh, I want to take this opportunity to say that we really appreciate the support you guys have shown us. And it took us quite a while, but we are uh, finally approaching our first K subscribers, guys. You can help us get there faster by uh, liking and more subs if you haven't done so already. 
Okay, I'm done. Well, thanks for watching again, guys, and we'll see you next time.